Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, the tiny house. This is Lazy Anton Holden. He's uh, up for a big adventure. This is Lazy Sigma Mom in her Sigma pants. <laughs> Show your Sigma pants. She didn't have any pants, so I had to give her my swim trunks. They call them trunks? I think dads do anyway. This is tiny house. This is Zach's tiny house in uh, Maine. We're getting ready for a big adventure. Uh, today we're gonna go on a, another road trip. We this is day three, I think. I don't know. It's all blending together. Maybe this day four. I don't know. I spent a night on a ship, pirate ship, in the middle of the ocean, and uh, I got my sea legs still. You know the captain Jack Sparrow. He's like he's half drunk and half sea leggy. That's how I kind of feel right now. Actually, I feel much better after sleeping. But I had a shower last night at Zach's house and. Uh, you know, you're in the, you just feel like you got to correct yourself all the time. But my goal for coming to Maine is always to do the things that I can't do at home. And one of the things I can't do at home is obviously catch a big tuna. And so I'm going to try to line that up for later in the week. Today we're going to go after the smalls that have eluded us. We're going to go some clams. We're going to go after some striper. I can't believe we haven't caught anything and, and probably even some squid. But I'm going to leave that up to Zach because he's got a plan and I'm good at just letting other people come up with good plans for me, especially when I'm doing their local thing. You know, got to get the kitties ready, make sure everybody's good, fed, watered, um, but leaving some room in their belly for some delicious seafood. Holden's favorite. How you feel? Not good. No, still? Yeah. Well, what happened? Well, I had like a seven hour sleep. Seven? Yeah. Bro, that's like 12. Cody, how are you feeling? Besides your hair needs fixing? Oh, fine. <laughs> it's life in a tiny house. That phone's knocking the Sigma out of you. Yeah. Turning into like more Omega. Not sure about that, eh? No. Got the bunkie up there, which is where we sleep. It's pretty comfy. <laughs> Gladding and scotting. How come you're not looking at the camera? Your face broken? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll go fix it. <laughs> now, cue the comments. You're so mean, poor Courtney. I can't believe it. Courtney, can you take it? Sure. Been taking it for 20 years. What's one more time? <laughs> you guys are hilarious. It's not big, it's tiny, but it's on wheels. So we, they can uh, circumvent the um, arbitrary rules that people have about what you can do with your own property. It's such a beautiful spot, and it's only a few minutes from Zach's house. Um, so I think he's got some big plans for here to build up on the road. Um, but they only let you build one time on your property, so you got to make it a, a right one. So he didn't want to build something small and then not be happy with it. Zach started a brand new channel called Catch and Cook. Catch and Cook channel? Catch and Cook Kitchen. Catch and, catch and Cook Kitchen. Um, but this is more, well this is set too. He films a lot of stuff up here too. Uh, the uh, podcast. I don't know. Yo, know, the extra channel, and you also did like the Saturday, the Friday Night Live. I only watched one because I think there's only one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't do well. No, you didn't like it. I thought it was pretty good. We liked it, but it, it didn't do well, so we decided to save it for winter time when we're like bored. Yeah. You know, and it's cold and there's yeah. not outdoor stuff. Besides ice fishing. Yeah, when there's, when there's yeah, when there's nothing but uh, cold and rain. Yeah. At times lately. Yeah, but this turned out really good. This is like last time I was here. I don't even think you could walk up here. It was just like rafters. Oh yeah. This is above his uh, garage. So there's a whole section below, um, but it's all done up really nice. It's a really nice set. Eventually you're going to have guests here because the podcast is going to take off and you're going to have uh, Steve Vernella come here and show him up for his podcast. All right. All, all kinds of cool guests. We just have the survival people here. Because uh, we don't we don't need to give those other guys any more free free publicity. They're doing all right. So plan is we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna pre prepare our crab claws so that we can actually eat them without having to take away our fishing opportunities. So let's get going. Got a huge mess of it. <laughs> all right, we're cooking. Zach's kitchen. It's always fun to cook in somebody else's kitchen. It's always fun to cook something you don't know what you're cooking. First try, first button. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. We're gonna cook crabs. 
Yeah, you just boil the water and put it in, right? Well, don't simplify it that much. We're making a delicious, ocean fresh meal. So it's yeah. definitely gonna be good. All right, so we got the induction cooking all set up. We're gonna hit high, because you want the water to boil. Should we wait for it to boil? Absolutely not. Courtney, come over here. She's running the camera. We've got our catch of the day. I think that's what it's called, so it's on sale. Catch of the day. Dig in. We've got handfuls and handfuls of crab claws. Here you go. Oh, Your thanks. favorite. Yeah. They were tasty. Yeah, we'll keep just the big ones. No, There's two good. of them here, here with big claws. Here you go. What do you think? Just take a bite. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think claw sushi is a thing, but... Alright, thanks. Thanks. It's your favorite? That one's definitely uh, too small. Too small. Come on, these two. Uh, it doesn't look good. It does not look good. Too small. It's so close, it's too small. Oh. One down. Oh, oh, come good. on. <laughs> That's right, get out big time. And there's no notch, but it doesn't matter because it's too small. But, this one, I can tell you, it's a female. It's a notched though, because it's mutilated corner, so he can't keep it. But it would have been big enough. That's crazy. There's a hole. Crabs. Everybody on the boat has crabs. So we're going to absolutely load it to the brim. Go ahead. I it's wouldn't another... say handfuls, I would say clawfuls. <laughs> huh. Get it? That's hilarious. Yeah. Loaded to the brim, I think that's an ocean reference. Load it up all the way to the top. Make those claws go swimming back in the ocean. Never been pinched by one, maybe that's a different episode though, but where's the biggest ones we have? All mixture of all different sizes. Courtney, who's running the camera right now, love these so much that Zach absolutely decimated every single crab he could. How many crab claws do you think we have in there? And, uh, we just Googled how long it would take to cook, and it said about five to 10 minutes. So, through the magic of television, five or 10 minutes, just like that. Catch and cook, fancy schmancy cooking kitchen. Oh, does that hit you right in the face or what? Yeah, it smells like fish. We don't really have any tongs, so we'll just use these backwards. But right now, we gotta, uh, well, we gotta cool them off. Shouldn't we turn this off then? We should probably turn that off. How do yeah. we turn that off? Paw is clear. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, it's done. It's too tight. The lid's hot. Ow, wait, wait, can I put it down? Okay. Just, just hold it tight. Yeah, but it's hot. Use your shirt, take your shirt off. The ladies will like that. Push it tight. It's hot, dude. Push it tight. It's like a thousand degrees. Here, wait, hold Come on. on. I have an idea. This is insane. Here, you grab oh, this. I got it. Oh, no, here, put it down. You don't have to pull it off, hold that. No, no, hold that. Oh my gosh, that's not even hot. I don't care. Okay, turn it. Turn, okay. turn, turn. Let's go, you turn. You gotta do something. Turn, turn, Let's turn, turn. You gotta open the thing more. No. Okay, you want it upside down? No. Exactly. What are you doing? You said turn. Turn it. Hold it tight. Keep going. First time in the shop. It smells so bad. That's why you're doing it. <laughs> All right, bring it over. Is this cooked? Oh yeah, they're cooked. Now, now what do we do? Cool them off? I think we cool them off when we crack them. No, we gotta, we gotta crack them. Is this, is this for hot stuff? I don't even know. Scorching hot. Let's make life interesting. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, see that? All right, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna make a mess. So we've got, this is gonna be the meatball, I guess, because it's smaller. And we're probably gonna end up with a lot of mess without a lot of meat. So I'm gonna grab your crab claw. I already did this once before. I'm gonna bust the claw off, like so. And then there it goes, there's no meat in there, so. That's garbage. Wait, this is the top claw? This is the garbage one. This is the meat one. This is the meat one. All right, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tougher than you, that's why. Just no problem. Okay, well I can do this one. This is the, this is the meat bowl. Okay, so once you got your meat, there, like that, you got a piece of meat. If you didn't, keep working at it. So once you can grab a piece of meat, and we'll get it out. 
Otherwise, keep cracking. And we want to try to get all the shell out because we don't want any bit of shell in our crab cakes because that would not be good. Look at that big chunk. It's almost like it's almost like a lobster chunk right there. Look at that. Oh, look at that mother mother load holding. Oh, oh that's what boy. I just got There's a bone in the middle though. There's a bone in here too. Yeah. What? That's what I was just doing. Look at that. Delicious meat forming up. I'm on my third sweep through this. Six pieces of cartilage. Now we're up to five pieces of claw. Okay, Zach said that we have to dry the crab off. I want to get it all... Oh, did you hear that little ding? I found it. We have gone through this so many times trying to make sure there aren't any pieces of claw or cartilage in there. Hopefully that was the last piece. Okay, so what do you think? Just spread it out and then it's working okay. I can see why you do this. Go get some fresh buns. Should be delicious. For all the effort and work and carnage, we ended up with a, about half of a bag, <laughs> half of a medium sized bag, small, medium bag of crab meat. <laughs> we'll have to add some more uh, fixings to make that a proper meal, I think. Add some mayo, some adobo, something like that. We'll figure it out once we get out on our adventure. So, headed there now. We're Thanks going. You're going? Yeah, we need, yeah, a, we need a striper. What was that? I'm leaving it rolled up. It? Yeah, I think it's fine. Sleeping. Hit yeah, record. Excuse me. Here we are, Lincolnville. Lincolnville Beach area. This is where we're squidding. Tide is just about up. But this is where everybody says the squidworths are. So we're going to get on them. And if not, we'll go up the road to a different place. We could rope somebody into taking us out in their boat too. Like, hey, take us out fishing. We'll drop it into the sea. I'm not going in after it. I didn't bring my goggles this time either. Ah. Can I turn around here, you think? Oh yeah. It's a pretty big truck, but I don't see them myself. I got the review. You got all the technology. Clunk. Yeah. Like do it do a uh, dumb and dumber <laughs> or what no what is it from uh, Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Bang, 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 back and forth into stuff. We reserved a spot on the pier. Apparently. For the, for the truck. That's what's getting here early has to, you know, for the squidding. And stripers, we'll see. Can I put my wood up or do you need it? So it looks like we're here. Where are we? What's this place called? Lincolnville. Lincolnville. We shouldn't probably tell anybody where it is because they might. Uh, it doesn't matter. They could spot. They could come and then it could be just not nearly what it is tonight. Right. And we don't even know if it's going to be anything anyway. Well, the guy down so, there said he was doing pretty good. He said he uh, caught some striper and squid, and he said he seemed pretty confident. So. It's that when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's. If, if I was better at this, I would actually follow like a Facebook page, right? <laughs> and you follow, because Maine isn't like Florida where it's like you go out there and you just pick any spot where you see a bunch of fish on your radar and you're bumping it and bumping it off every dock and every pier and you're always going to catch something. Maine, they come in a certain pattern and the, you know, the mackerel come in in a big school and they go through an area and they work their way up the coast and stuff. So you got to be hitting them at the right time, just like blueberries becoming ripe. The blueberry pickers follow the blueberries and they're picking them in the spot. So you gotta follow the fish and be picking them in the right spots. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. So people could be like, oh, I don't blow up my spot. And then, but with the ocean, you go there, you can come there the next day and they're up in Searsport now or down in the other way or something, you know? And it's no good. Well, we're here because we got a tip though. Yeah, but we got a tip. <laughs> so we might be right bang We on. know a guy. Yeah, we, we know a guy. We know a guy. He put us on the spot. So hopefully we can get the monkey off our back. 
Hopefully he didn't put us on the spot next to the spot because he's gonna be on the other spot and he didn't want us on his spot. <laughs> So what we're doing here is trying to catch some bait. We're after mackerel and uh, this is sabiki. It's got like a ton of little flashy flies, beads, hooks, and we can often catch more than one on them, obviously. Trying to catch some giant striper. Yeah, right at the dock, actually. Yeah, it's, a little, it's too one. big. You gotta catch a smaller <laughs> one. Gotta go small. Try again, try okay, again. Okay, I'll try yeah, again. Uh, just uh, small. Chuck it You're back. Too good. You're too chuck good. it back, try that's again. A, that's an eater. <laughs> yeah, we could keep that one. Next time, try for a smaller one. I got his monster one here. We'll give him a little slit in the tail. Try to bring the sharks in the water. Sharks in the water, blood in the water. That's good enough color. There we, we go. Sharks in the water, blood in the water. We'll give them a little slit on the tail. See if we can't uh, turn that into a striper really quickly. So that's a fresh mackerel. I'm using the sabiki. I'm learning stuff, boys. Right off the dock, actually. Zach's going to pitch it out there. That's the first live mackerel we've managed to get hooked and out. Tonight. To, well, so far in four days trying. Oh yeah, that's true. Gifts. We right? Failed. Everything's been dead. Everything's been dead. Yes. So this I should. You caught one. You caught oh, one too. Oh yes. There we go. Walk it back here. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> too slow. <laughs> the drag set there, Zach. Run her up. Run her up. Watch the rod there. What? Just watch the rod. Let's go. See, these are pretty cool. Pretty cool looking fish. I know, right? It's a beautiful looking fish. Hold Almost looks like a... There. Hold it right there. It'll help me give me a, okay. a measurement for the slip bobber right there. All right. That's what I want. What you try want? To, try to get it on the bottom. This Five one. feet? The other one's uh, like halfway up the water column. Yep. This one we're going to try to get on the bottom. Yeah, if he swims in, just cast him out back out again. How hard do we have to set the hook on these? You don't, you reel. You just don't, you don't have to? You reel, you, yeah, you reel and let it. That's bait. Yeah. Are you still wiggling? No. All right, bring him in, let's put a different one on. Real? From the cooler, yeah. But could, um, uh, let's turn him into cup bait. It's up to you. Well, you might as well put a fresh one on it. You got a fresh yeah, one. Yeah, give it a try. All right. Striper on. Oh man, this one's a monster. You got a striper? Yep. Go grab the fish bag out of the back of the truck. Okay. Okay, hold Foolish. It. No, I got it, I got it. Like, I'm supposed to lift this thing up. Yeah, yeah. Get a shot for me. Yeah. Or my stuff, and then... That's a good one. Yeah. Woo! <sighs> you tuckered out, eh? He's dead. I cut his tail. Oh, is that why? Mm -hmm. Alright, Zach says we should... 
try a live one because he, he actually cut the tail of this guy. I don't know if this guy's going to be kicking or not, but I'll give him a try. Oh yeah, this guy's wiggling still. He's still wiggling. I just foul hooked a squid of huh. all things. Like that is so crazy. All right, so you want to be careful of right in here. He's got a little mouth. That beak, it'll bite you. It hurts. Yeah. Not that big of a deal, but that's wild. So that means there's squid here. So this was our goal. Now you guys know what we're after. Yeah. It's time to uh, switch to squid with, <laughs> as far as this guy. Oh, here. I mean, if I foul hooked a... Uh, there must be a few. There must be a few. If I'm foul hooking, that's gonna come because I went straight down. We gotta get the squid jig, you know, set up. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> me either. That, that must have, I mean, maybe they were chasing it because I was jigging it. Yeah. And then I foul hooked one when he came by because I didn't feel a bump before that one. The striper like the squid better. Apparently. That's why he switched you. Right? You're gonna have to reel up. Good evening. The hook, just keep reeling. Yep, keep reeling. Just keep reeling. Oh, this is heavy. Yep. You gotta no, get I'm that sorry. other Chris, line. The lines oh are all God. underneath the boat. Oh. Get the get the lines up. Get the lines up. Don't yeah, focus on Pull there you go. Keep that up, tip out. Yep, we got way. it. Reel this keep going, get out to the way. edge of the dock. Oh, I don't feel it anymore. Yeah, you got it. No, Keep it's on. not there anymore. Keep on. Oh, oh, you're it's it's running, cause you got it's run. Corny. It's running cause it, it was this was completely Hold slack. This. Hold it. It might not be there anymore, but you. All right, get it down. Get your tip down. So now oh, it's probably lost. All right, so we got another th setup. This is for uh, squid, which we have not caught yet on the list. So they're just little, uh, I don't know, jigs with, they've got these spikes on there, which I guess the squid will get tangled up in. So that's the idea. It's a little light out still maybe for squid, but Zach did snag one with the uh, sabiki. So they're around. Actually, you know what, hold on. You can jig, jig for squid at the same time. Just take the macro and we'll just rubber in there. Oh, there's there they are. Oh, I missed them all. Squid? No, it's mackerel. Oh, really? Yeah. Great, drop it right back down. They just swirled and left. Oh, they'll be right there though. Delicious mess of stuff. Are we gonna mix it with the mayo, or are you just gonna slap it on, just like that? Yeah, I guess you could. Just and then... real fancy, eh? White, white on white. It's a triple white threat. White on white on white. What do you think? Does that look good? No. Is that how you make the crack cake? I sort of like pictured that? it mixed beforehand, but how about just, just like that. Careful. What is going on yeah. over here? You might get squirt. I, uh, whoa, 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 Might get a squirt. Are you kidding me? Well, it's white that's, on white on white. No, Look, no, white no. White on, no, no. I'm no, done. No, no, that's awful. That's, what, what do you mean? No, open the bag you, back up. What's happening? Open the bag back up. What? Wait, we're going to do this the right way. We're moving backwards this now. Is, you're in... You're in... <laughs> <laughs> main, you know, you're just you're not gonna just de destroy this. What's happening? Here, open the thing up. Let me add the wadobo and the uh, okay, well, I, wadobo. I could get, I get, yeah, get behind right. the well, wadobo. we got other stuff. We got we got a uh, oh, we got a tomato uh, and we got a red onion. Uh, what and we got a flambe torch. Where is it? Just have something to do We're gonna with do, it. And, and we got some Swiss cheese. Yeah, Dang. we're gonna do it right. Let's do it right. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna go with and simple. Wadobo. It's fancy already because we have bread. It's fancy because you have bread. <laughs> All right, let me see this. There, right. we got some adobo. We'll put that in the bag with that. We'll mix the whole thing together instead of just slapping it on there like a savage. Oh, Got some adobo. That's Zach's influence coming hey, into yeah. the picture here. Hey, I'm not going to let you go home and say that crab was... <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was I, I ate it. I had nutrients. I'm good. I, I didn't go home hungry, you know. I don't know. All right. We're making memories. 
I got all kinds of memories from Maine. Yeah. Yeah. Memories of watching me catch fish. Well, so far, <laughs> I mean, I can I nailed the mac uh, I nailed the mackerel. I kind of got that. You're the down. mackerel king, or, or <laughs> yeah, between you and Holden. No squid. I can't seem no to catch striper. that many mackerel, but not yet. No, I've I've got that dialed. I'm pretty happy with that. Should I uh, I chop this tomato while you're? Oh sure, yeah. While you're massaging my meat. Yeah. That just made this <laughs> awkward, didn't you? you just, Oh man, my knife is so sharp too. It's a life. tomato. You can never have it sharp enough for I tomato. It's not. just that it just doesn't like to. That's what the serrated knife is. Yeah, best that's for what the, I was gonna say. You ever seen that where they yeah. do the bread knife in the kitchen? Now we're gonna put a little piece of Swiss on. What? Yep. Fire is involved. Fire. Yeah. We're gonna toast up our Swiss. I'm just gonna put the flambe torch. Wow. Just get it all melty. Got one of these too. All right. I mean, if I had some butter, we'd do the we'd do the bread and everything. But we're just gonna do that up, get that all good, and uh, there we go. Red onions, and I would put kimchi on this, but I know you're not into the kimchi, are you? Uh, spicy. Yeah, it's yeah, really hot. I don't it's really know. spicy. We went from white on white on white to, to some color, so to, to, you're already on your limit. Yeah. All right, hold on. What? what? We're toasting the outside. Uh, I'm just gonna too? toast the outside a little bit. Wow. Just for the mouthfeel, get that like toasted bread so you don't have that too boring. Nice. And uh, we'll get the bottom. Wow. You guys have to check out uh, Zach's new channel. We're going to call it, it's, it's the, the Catch, catch and Cook, cook kitchen. kitchen. Yep. Right? This is all yep. the all right. way. It smells good. Yeah? Yep. You smell a little bit of toastiness, a little bit of um, mayo right now. We'll see if the, should, should I expect a big amount of flavor from the crab or is it oh, going to yeah. be light? Yeah, light, a lot. Oh yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah? Yeah, really good. That's good. That's our fresh caught crab, man. Hard well, to beat. A lot of work went into Not that. Not that fake store stuff. No. <laughs> that's good. Labor of love went into that. We had to pick all the, all the pieces out to make it work. Uh, you you, have, you have to try one. No, I don't like crab. It doesn't taste crabby or fishy I don't care. at all. It's, I have my own sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, look, my you gotta sandwich try one is gonna be better. You're gonna try a bite of somebody's sandwich. Bro. Broaden your palate. Beautiful, work of art. A little plop of kimchi on the top of mine. I like that, get that fermented foods onto everything I eat. Thank you Less handling so of your food <laughs> as possible since we've got fish hands. You have no idea uh, how much handling Cordy did on that crab meat. <laughs> oh yeah, she do. Oh yeah, right. We had to pick I'm like less handling it. Every, yeah, by hand, you had to pick it all the pieces. Oh yeah. All right, Lord, Somebody. thank you for this food. Bless us with more fish tonight and a bunch of squid in Jesus' name. Amen. Here we go. Mmm. Right. That's so good. It's very good. I had a crunch. Yeah, in mine. you, you oh, would. No. <laughs> it's that's really? okay. That's that's the nature of the uh, crab. All right, Holden. Let's see, what do you think? Does it smell fishy? He, he yeah. smells it first. Smells it. The first thing. Sniff it. Take a big sniff. Just rate it on a sandwich. Don't like rate it on anything else. It's like, is that a good sandwich? No, it tastes like fish. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay, really? give me my sandwich back. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> it does taste like fish, because it, or crab at least. Yeah, it just tastes, well, I don't know, I taste it. What do you think, Courtney? You taste it? Sure, but mild. Mild. Yeah, yeah, it's not offensive at all. No, no. Like I think almost the crab crab cake itself is stronger flavored. Somebody usually people usually mix it with Old Bay and then they fry it, and so it, it kind of has a stronger flavor. Whereas this is very mild. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a solid. I'm not gonna rate it. I'm just gonna say it's good. Worth picking all the meat out of that. Mm. There's a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, I used to poo-poo the crab. No, nah, Because I love the lobster, but like, no, nah. I like this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make this and then keep it around in a little cup so I can put it on crackers. Yeah, it's worth it if you're, especially if you're not nailing the lobster. Like, you gotta catch maybe 20 crab to make it worthwhile, Which or is, just the claws, it's right? It's impossible not to do. No, yeah, they're always catching them. Mm -hmm. I try to get some squid. The kids over there are grabbing squid and can't manage to get any. 
So who knows, maybe they're over there, not over here. And I guess I gotta figure out this skill next. I think I'm getting a dial in on the, got the macro figured out and the stripers I think I got now too. I've seen them now. Just gotta make sure you keep an eye on the floats. We've got two floats, one float there, one float here. We're allowed two lines, so Holden just missed one. Had one on, but it got kind of tangled up and everything. There we go. Hey! Oh. Second one of the night. Squid? Yeah, I'm ready for it. I just let it die in the bucket, really. Aww. Got one, Zach! You did? Nice. My first one ever, my whole life. Oh, yeah, we're at it. Small one, I Look guess, eh? That. Small one, I guess. No, that's a perfect. That's it. We should put that on the hook and try to turn it into a striper, huh? Or... It's up to you. Yeah, go bring for it, it. Bring it to Holden? Yeah, bring it to Holden. Put it on the hook for him. All right, sinking me. Yeah. Nice. Reel up your macro one. I'll give you another squid. Can I see it, Courtney? I saw it before. It's freaking Google eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, it's... Oh. <laughs> All those like the dotty things it's inside they're catching a bunch up there if you want to come try to catch a squid you might as well go you might as well go try i don't i want to catch a striper I don't but we can come back for a striper how did he hook it last time well then just threw it anyway yeah. all right there you go well come up and i'll give you my rod if you want oh my gosh what is your trick <laughs> There you go. I'm mirroring you, by the way. Yeah. I'm mirroring your movements. I'm just doing whatever you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I've never actually done this before. Which one's yours, Doc? Your bucket? Yeah, that one. Which one, though? They're right there. Okay. I don't know what you're doing yet, but I'm gonna. Fi I'll figure it out. <laughs> you know, mirroring people. I, I tried to mirror this woman who was fishing on the dock in Rockport one time, and it was noon, and the sun was shining, and she was catching squid like it was. <laughs> it was insane. I started just copying. I was casting where she was casting. Was like, every time she moved her pole, I moved my pole. I couldn't catch a single one. No. She probably caught like thirty. <laughs> I don't even know how you see them all down there, but everything has a trick. I, yeah, the school that's on the bottom, you can't see them, but once you bring it up right to that level where you can see, just yep. barely see, like three feet down, you see them fall away. And then you can see how many are chasing. Okay. So I guess you're just, you're not watching for it. Squid, you're watching your your lure, your bait. No more yet, Chris? Not for me. Man, finish. Only because you can't even see because of all the eggs. It's right out. Oh. Right. There we go. Now we got four. 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 <laughs> this is slow. <laughs> really slow, yeah. Well, we're back at Zach's place and we're gonna go up to the catch and cook kitchen because we've got our squid and uh, Zach's filming a bit for the catch and cook kitchen series. You got the whole set here. He's the guy who does all the work. He's gonna have his own channel one day probably, <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe. You think so? I don't know. I don't know. How we looking, Zach? We on we on board here? Yeah, we got it. We're yeah, good. we just gotta go get some gluten free flour. My fault. Yeah, our bad. All of our bad. Yeah. Like I, I get thought of it to like text yeah. you this morning, like, oh, bring that. Yeah, with you would have. If, <laughs> if it's here. Yeah. And I didn't. I yeah. Didn't. So Courtney's on the rescue. Yeah. She we're just gluten free flour. So ran out good. so that I can have a taste of some fresh caught stuff. I've had it, I think, in the restaurant probably years ago. I don't typically order it. It's like a 
cal calamari, right? That's what you yeah. call it? Yeah. Calamari. So we're going to make our own Squidward. version of it? Squidward fried up. Yeah, are you thinking fried or smoker? Is no it a fried. smoker or something else? That's 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 the watermelon we're doing today. Oh, okay, so you're not we're, we're not smoking we're doing calamari? We're just a little short with the grilled gotcha. watermelon. Yeah, because I noticed the fire, it was all fired up. I'm like, how are you going to smoke squid? Like, nah. all right, let's try it. Well, there is a good, uh, like a stuffed squid where you do like a crab stuff and then you stuff the hoods yep. and you bake them. Okay. Um, and I had done that before, but I went a little bit over on that. And so it was like, it was good, but I, it, I only got to like a taste of like what it could be. Right. So like, but I mean, it's hard to do, do it wrong when you fry them up. They're yeah. just so delicious. Yeah. You know, so yeah, cool. that's what we're going to do. So simple. Yeah. So first take, see how the, the, the pen is up here that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reach your finger down inside there and that breaks three, all the stuff. They're a little easier if they're bigger. And like, since we did these last night, yep. you feel how it tore it away yep. as you did. And then you should be able to just pull everything out in one go. Kind of reminds me of uh, the rear end of a deer. So, <laughs> look at that, I nailed that one. If um, if you free up all the stuff at the at the end, then it just... Is that how you do it with a deer? Yeah. You, you reach up in that well, from so the butt? So and then... No, you don't put it in the hole. Oh, you go after around, you cut, a, uh, cut around. You go around, yeah. So if and you, then you put your finger in there. You go around the outside yeah. of the hole. Gotcha. Yeah. See, when I was watching Jeremy from that's one, what I've been doing wrong this whole time. One no, I'm wild, just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> one wild crafter was doing that. I'm like, what are you doing? It was a big joke. Like he was always playing around with the hole. Yeah. I'm like, he's gonna make you really careful around the hole. And so what he was doing was he was freeing up the cartilage around the outside so that when you Pulled. freed it from the inside and you pulled it in, yeah. you tie it off and pull it in, it didn't break off in the pelvis. Or, or yeah, <laughs> squirt stuff out, you know, right. that you didn't have to have coming out of it. Yeah, so that right, ended so up now pretty clean, You did right? good, yeah, it minus the the ink got everywhere a little yeah, bit, but not, not, not so bad. I'm not supposed All right, to do so that, right? so then you take your, right between the eyes and the tentacles, cut that off, right? Oh, okay. I'll grab so, your knife. My knife yeah, is still clean. Yeah. Uh, between the eye here. Between the eyes and the tentacles. Oh, because yeah, we want the tentacles. Yeah. We don't yep. want anything else. Yeah. You, you don't go. want the brain or anything? Nope. None of that's gonna. You any sure? Good. Yeah. You, you can't. Oh, yeah, okay. it's gross. You can't eat the brain. All right. So then, no, no. You take your tentacles. Okay. And you squeeze those, and out comes that little round ball. Okay. That's the beak. Pull that off. Okay. So the beak is inside of there. So our waste pile's over here. Yep. That's our waste and pile. That's our eat pile. That's our eat pile. Yeah. Now, what do I have over here? Oh, you have another that's the head. Gro that's the gross. That's that that's, was you, that was what you just pulled out. Oh, that's the guts. Yeah, the that's head. the guts. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Right? Isn't that crazy how they, oh, uh, the guts? Oh, maybe we did cut one tentacle off accidentally. Oh, but yeah. oh no, I don't think I don't know if it's you don't guts. Want it anymore? Well, I don't know if it's a tentacle <laughs> or guts. No, it, it, that <laughs> is tentacle. But it's like the, mm -hmm. the guts inside almost look like the tentacles the way they strain down. I know. That's what I'm like. What, that, right. We got two sets of All tentacles. All right. So there. then you grab your fins here on the side of the hoods, right? Okay. And on the back side, push your fingernail in and start peeling one of those off. Okay. Right? And see how it pulls away the skin there? Okay. Yep. Yep, and then bring that up and over the top until the top's free. I've seen other people and they like cut those off and I think maybe on the bigger ones, they're actually attached to the we're trying to get Hood? The, we're trying to get the skin yeah, off. Yeah, get all the skin off. So if you do it cleanly, you end up getting it in one go. Yeah. I didn't understand the goal at the start of this. I right. I feel a following procedure. Yeah. Okay, I got it. The one little piece. Oh, of yeah, sorry. Just, hanging yeah. on there. Yeah, just kind of scrape it with your fingernail. I, I think because we got these last night, they go a little <laughs> smoother. <laughs> High five. Ah. High five. You want to finish this off <laughs> so you can say you did it? Here. Uh, here, just grab and pull. Okay. Grab, that, grab that skin there. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Mazel tov. <laughs> oh, I forgot one more step, right? Forget no. It. Oh, yes, the pen. the pen. We almost did. Yeah, we were playing around with them so much. Here, I'll let you do this one, Holden. Yeah, so in there. you're going to pinch and scrape a little bit of skin off right there until you reveal the pen, right? It's a pen. I oh, do it from the outside. Yeah, it's that glass thing, yeah. right? So it's there's a little bit of... I'll see if I can get it revealed. There, you, see that right there? Yeah. See if you, now you gotta grab the hood and you gotta kinda work it, maybe pushing it in and out a little bit till you get it moving. Mine's hanging on at the other end. There you go, you got it. Oh, what the hell is it? Do you, do you, you got do, it, do yeah. you detach it from the other end? You'll get it. Yeah, just kinda just like work on? it. Yeah, work it with your, Oh, I got go. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, more, more came out. Oh, oh. yeah. 
a little extra. Bit. I don't have enough like grip strength. Use your, yeah, you use gotta your fingernail. Pinch, pinch your fingernail against your thing. Uh, there you go. You got it. You got it. Hey. And you could take that home as a souvenir now. And give mom all the little cartilage bits that we've been collecting from different things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and then, uh, and then you uh, now we're gonna slice it up. Yeah, so let you do it because you uh, probably want to be uniform sizes there. I don't know. I sliced some of these kind of big and some of these kind of small already, but yeah, like quarter inch plus you, a little bit. Do you know calamari? Yeah, I've had it. Okay, so that's what it is. I know. It's just breaded, right? Yeah. 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 And fried. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why it's. That's good. what we're doing. That's why it's good. <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely why it's good. We got to do some deep fried clams later on too, eh, Holden? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be good. Would it be good? Do you have a deep fryer? Uh, we we are gonna have to deep fry these, for sure. That's the goal. Yeah. No, why, my hands are already dirty. Right, How would okay. I get them more? All right, clean up, and then I'll be able to cut the last little bit, and then wash them up. We'll test it with a little drip of water, and she's sizzling, so we are ready to go. They're gonna fry up really quickly. Put our beautiful little rings. Oh, look at those. Boy, I wish we had gotten more than four, huh? That's gonna eat up so fast. These are so delicious fried up and ready to go. You guys ready to try it? Yeah. So you want to go first? Sure. Yeah, since We're this is going to be a huge test, right? Because you so far have not liked any of the seafood from our adventure. So if you like this, then I, I nailed something here that you like Yeah. from well, the sea. What should I try first? Go for, go, oh, okay, yes. go for a ring. Go for a ring. Give should it. I dip it? Uh, try to go straight up, see what happens. All right. See what you think. Do you like onion rings? Yeah, this is good. They taste nothing like onion rings. Oh no! It's good. Did you just say it was good? Oh. Yeah. Rate it. What do you got? You got like are you like like good like ten out of ten. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's like a seven to be honest. Oh man. Seven. That's pretty Seven's good. For good. Seven Dropping, for you. That's really good. The slots. I that's guess. Just, yeah. <laughs> try the tentacles. It's not a ten. Go for it. Go for try it. Try yeah. the yeah. dip. Get in on it. Try the dip too. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Without... Try it with the dip. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go without first. I'll oh, just eat the whole do thing. The tentacles yeah. taste different. Uh, just the same thing. Just give it a dip and go for the whole. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Perfect. That's pretty mild. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's just good. Yeah. Mm. It's just. Yeah. It's just good. I didn't overly season those or go super carried away or. With oh. the sauce, it's like a nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there See? We go. the sauce, it really makes a big difference. Like it turned out so so good. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, the sauce is way better. It, it just because it punches all the. Fr it punches the oils. No, I don't. You wish we had. I uh, wish we had like thirty of them, right? Yeah, like, we need to catch more squid. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Mmm. Yeah, actually, just adding the sauce brought all of the other flavors out. Because mm -hmm. when I had it just by itself, I didn't taste it. Did you try this? I did. Yeah. No, it's really I good. I think it's equally good both ways. The sauce is delicious, but. No, well, for sure. I know. I, I actually like to eat French fries without dipping them most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Like, I feel like this is like that. Like, I could just munch down a little cup of that, you know, from a, a food stand or something like that as I'm cruising down the road. Like, it's so, so yummy, right? Yeah. Oh, very yummy. If I lived here, I'd go catch a squirrel all the time and then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we just found something that Holden likes from the sea. Amazing. <laughs> How crazy is that? I like fried stuff. It doesn't taste like fish. It's... And here you were all night going after the striper. <laughs> well, it didn't and matter. We weren't doing that great on the squid No, anyways, either way. But... Yeah. We might have caught two more squid or something. But yeah, if, if we were all on it, mm -hmm. then we might have had a little bit more. Thank you. I gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, I love calamari. Do you? Well, here, yeah. the, here, you get the rest. No. Here, take it. Take it. Yeah, we, take we gotta it. get more seafood anyway. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we might as well finish it, Grant. I guess so. If you love it, you gotta, you gotta finish it off. If you love it, set it free. <laughs> it's true. No, it's just sweet baby rays. I, hmm. yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Are you a the, oh, it's yeah, it's just it's good. The, yeah. Shows like the Let roast, beef, this camera right? or hmm. roast beef sandwich yeah, yeah. and the and the onion rings. Yeah, it's just the share button. So. Well, I, I'll have to look Thanks. Thanks.